Yeah, hi, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at some of the best freelance websites, run through some of the top freelance sites that are out there. And remember, freelance sites are for anyone who wants to obviously earn a bit of extra cash or even work it into a full-time income. And this could be by doing various different tasks. And so if you've got certain skills, uh, maybe you're a good copywriter or maybe you can just create uh, different graphics and things like that for YouTube and Facebook and all that sort of thing, then this could be for you. And even if your skills are very limited, then you could even just get paid just for doing testimonies uh, and things as simple as that. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, we're going to run through just uh, half a dozen of these different sites that you could go and join. And remember, they're all free to join. Uh, and then you could start making uh, money online through these freelance websites. OK, so the first one I'm going to talk about, probably the most popular one that me people have actually heard of is fiverr.com and as you can see it says here find the perfect freelance services for your business fiverr.com has been around since about 2010 uh, it's very easy to actually set up as a freelancer on fiverr and also uh, it's also easy for buyers as well to find you uh, and another thing that i like about fiverr is you would create your gig and then you give it a price and then obviously people can then obviously just buy that particular gig now as the name uh, suggests uh, when it was first uh, launched it was just five dollars for every uh, gig uh, and this has evolved over time because people have put extras onto the gig uh, maybe by um, just doing a uh, 24-hour service or they will add other bits into the uh, gig as well and uh, now you can actually get gigs that are even a hundred dollars or more uh, in a particular um, niche uh, so it's certainly something you could scale from just a part-time living even up to a full-time living and uh, check out uh, the video at the end of this I've got more about uh, Fiverr more in-depth videos about Fiverr uh, on my channel so uh, either uh, click on the link above here uh, and also uh, check out the video right at the end okay so the next one we're going to have a look at uh, we're going to look at bribe.com and the great thing about Bribe uh, is you can actually hire not only freelancers, but a unique thing is you can actually find the finest influencers. So a lot of companies, a lot of uh, businesses are looking for influencers. Uh, people who have got loads of followers on uh, Instagram, TikTok, maybe YouTube. Uh, and then what they are doing is they want to go and hire those for particular product projects. So, of course, that makes it very, very uh, scalable and obviously very um, unique and can be used across a wide variety of people. Uh, so don't forget to check out Bribe uh, as another alternative uh, to starting out as a freelancer or even if you are as a influencer. OK, so the third one we're looking at, uh, we're looking at a site called Upwork. OK, and again, uh, this is a very old site and it's probably one of the oldest ones. Uh, it has been called a couple of other different names uh, in the past. Uh, so uh, it's, it used to be called Odesk, uh, but now it's Upwork is the, the, the site you want to go and look for. Uh, and again, as you can see, uh, it's like I say, it's been around a while, 1999 it was founded. Uh, but it is a huge platform. And uh, the only disadvantage, which may be a disadvantage, is people get paid per hour on here. So you can put up a, a, a job or a work, and then people will obviously bid on that work uh, and try and get the work. So, But most things are paid per hour. Okay, So as a freelancer, sometimes uh, that can result in you maybe lowering your hourly rate to get the work, uh, which obviously is not always a good thing. But certainly uh, another great way of obviously getting um, into the freelance market and to make money uh, online. Now the next one, uh, we've already covered Fiverr.com. There is also a Fiverr Pro, okay? Uh, now you do have to get, uh, obviously apply to be uh, accepted into the Fiverr Pro. So it's probably not one of the ones that you'd probably start out with uh, as a beginner. 
Uh, you normally find that the prices and the quality of the work is much higher standard. Do remember that only 1% of people actually get accepted uh, when they actually apply. Uh, so make sure that you are a top-notch uh, freelancer maybe before you go and check out Fiverr Pro. Okay, so the next one we're looking at is a site called Guru dot com and uh, again as it says here find hi, find and hire expert freelancers um google uh, guru.com uh, again is quite an old platform 1998 it was uh, uh, started uh, it seems to be a little bit um uh, smaller uh, on an actual platform basis and also can be a little bit a lower quality. Uh, so again, this could be a good place maybe to start and get into the uh, grips of being a freelancer. What is handy though, uh, is that uh, you do get quite a few emails. Uh, once you are a member of Guru, they do and they will email you work uh, that you could obviously uh, uh, bid for and uh, obviously go for. Uh, so that is a real good plus uh, that other sites don't tend to do that. Uh, so again, uh, you may wanna look at guru.com. Okay, so we've got a couple more to look at and uh, the second to last one is people per hour. OK, now and again, this is uh, obviously there's varying different skills that you can actually use in people per hour. Uh, but again, um, as you'll notice by the name, uh, they do pay more on an hourly rate. OK, uh, so again, they've been around for a while. So and as they say here on the website, they're trusted by over 1 million businesses worldwide. So you've got a good chance uh, to get noticed uh, in your particular niche uh, for whatever you're going to actually start your freelancing business about. OK, so the last one we're going to actually uh, look at quickly uh, is called Freelancer. And uh, as you can see here again, it says hire the best freelancers for any job online. And uh, again, it's very simple. Uh, you obviously, uh, you can find uh, freelancers by skill or by location, uh, and you can get ideas. Another good site that you can actually go and start your journey as a freelancer. So we've gone across uh, quite a few different sites here. Uh, like I said, they're not done in any particular order. Uh, so if you are starting out and you're looking to uh, obviously uh, get into freelancing, uh, then why not ch check a few of these out, start to see which ones are going to be more beneficial to you, because you will find that you uh, enjoy more platforms better than others, uh, certainly the way sort of the, uh, the actual jobs are done and the way you get paid and all that sort of thing, they're all slightly different. If you're looking to make money online and uh, being a freelancer, certainly is a great way to start, uh, especially uh, with uh, all the uh, things that are going on at the moment, uh, because as being a freelancer, it's something you can do at home, obviously, as long as you've got an internet connection. Okay, so I hope you found that interesting, useful. If you did, give us the big smash up on the like button, please. Uh, also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. Hit the notification bell and you'll get notified every time we make a new video. Don't forget to watch this video next and we'll see you on the next video.